God bless you, brothers and sisters. It's Mike from We Are the Saints. Uh, I have a message here from the Lord. The Lord put this on my heart a little while ago, but I've been sitting on this for a while. I've been uh, kind of procrastinating on this sort of thing, this sort of video. Um, but the Lord spoke to me and he wanted me to write this stuff down. I'll, I'll, I'll put the the scripture verses in the description and you can uh, you can you can look at them from there so I'm just gonna get right into it but Lord I'm gonna ask that the Holy Spirit would just provide their um, their will over this word that you spoke to me for the Lord uh, in Jesus name I ask it to uh, speak to the hearts of men to whoever hears this and blesses them and uh, leads them to you and your salvation Lord in Jesus name um, so the title of this was Dark Days Are Coming and Lo Are Already Here. The Lord began to speak. Write these words down, my son. Do you know the season you are in? The night is late, and I have spoken to the deep recesses of your hearts, the hearts of men, but they hold out the hand to me. Why? What offense have I done to them? Have I withheld my love from them? I myself would have taken them under my wing like a hen to her brood. I would have given them a refuge. I would have held them close, closer than their own flesh. But no, they would not have me. Their creator, father, brother, and friend. Why am I a stench in their nostrils? I pour out my spirit as a sweet fragrance to all of mankind, but they will not have me. Now, even now, I will forgive you and heal your heart, soul and mind. I would restore your lands if you will turn to me. Do not turn your face from me, for my heart is grieved and sorrow fills my tears. Come. Walk in the cool of the afternoon with me and tell me your sorrows, your sins, your iniquities, and I will wash you whiter than snow. The earth has lusted after her lovers and filled her with abominations. The great cities are full of fornications. I see the great sins of her filth. Will you heed my word, O kings of the earth? Will you sit in ashes and sackcloth before me and turn away from corruption? No, I tell you, you will not. Therefore, be prepared to face me. Many warnings I have prepared, many prophets I have sent. But you shake your fist to heaven, saying, There is no God, only ourselves. Oh, how I loved you and prospered you, O oh, home of the brave, and land of the free. You are not free. You are a slave to your sin. The bonds of iniquity have enslaved you to your greed and lust for your own pride. The birth pangs will increase. The earth will groan and the heavens will fall. A byword to your neighbors you will be and a hissing from passerbys. You shall be split and a great nation you will not be. But I will leave you a remnant, a small nation you will become, but not lost. You will turn to me and proclaim my glory. They will remember me, and I will lift them up. I will deliver them, for I am the Lord. When all seems lost and the day is dark, I will come to rescue you, to lift you up and take you to my place that I have prepared for you. Many who say, Lord, Lord, will be left, and many who say, I am saved, will remain. Therefore, cleave to me, my children. Ask me for the grace to help you conquer your habitual sin. Let me pick you up, dust you off, and set you on the right path that leads to the door, with your lamp burning bright, ready to meet her groom. For I tell you the truth, 
no one sneaks in through a window that will not be exposed. Come to me now, my love, my sweet daughters and sons, and tell me everything with a pure heart, and I will restore you. Those who are left behind, I will not leave you nor forsake you. I uh, just want to pause there for a second. This is like a two-part when I was, when the Lord was speaking to me. Uh, this is the second part. I am still with you. Trust in me with everything you have. I have sent you all a remnant, my chosen ones, my first fruits. These that are, these are them that will follow me wheresoever I go. I will send them here and there, even in my spirit. They will lead you and take you swiftly on eagle's wings to a place I have prepared. How will you know them? They will do signs and wonders, heal the sick and raise the dead, a light in the darkness. Do not be afraid. I have overcome the enemy. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I am waiting for you with arms open wide. Do not deny me even unto death. I give you life alone. I am the lover of your soul. Yeshua. And that was it. He signed off on that. Um, there's quite a bit there to, to talk about. I'm really not going to get into too much. Um, there's, it's a two part. And um, the second, uh, the first part obviously was um, before the rapture. The second half was after the rapture. Um, I, I ask you to take this to the Lord, ask for confirmation, um, take all your concerns and your your questions to the Lord, and look for His guidance and His um, uh, still small voice in your life. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to sign off on that, and that's it. Uh, God bless you all. Uh, I hope this blesses someone out there. Um, and I love you all. Take care. See you in the next video. Shalom.